Well, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video and this is my review of episode 5 of House of the Dragon. I got the flame shirt, I got the poster, and let's do this because I have so much to say about this episode. So right off the bat, the first scene is with Rhea Royce and you know, we get introduced to her character and then Damon suddenly shows up, pays a visit, and guess what he does? He just bashes her brains out. Like, what the fuck? It's very interesting how the show kind of starts off with you liking his character and then he does things that are very questionable and you're like, do I like him? Do I not? Like, you're just so conflicted, but this is classic GOT and it's very cool how, you know, you know as the show goes on, you start to realize how fucked up his character is because, you know, that's, that's just what he is. And, you know, George R. R. Martin, he just... I like how he just decided to create the most craziest character and went all in for it. And then later on, we find out that Viserys wants to arrange a marriage between Lenor Velaryon and his daughter, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. And, you know, things happen. And we find out that uh, Lenor Velaryon has a, a secret lover, and his name is Joffrey, a red-headed dude. That's what he is keep that in mind. Uh, one thing I noticed about this show is I feel like every episode has kind of like a standout actor character, you know, like first episode, it was really like Damon and Rhaenyra. I feel like the last episode, episode four was like Viserys, pa Patty Constantine gave a wonderful performance in that one. He really stood out in that, in that episode. Um, but this episode, it's really Alison Hightower and Kristen Cole's episode, like this is their shining point, their standout moments, like they're all in here and it, it really, you can really tell. First of all, Alison, uh, that scene when she's like saying goodbye to her father, Otto Hightower, like, like you, like she gave it her all in that scene, like that performance was absolutely astounding. Kristen Cole as well, uh, what is his name, Fabian Frankel, yeah, he, um, that, that scene on, on the boat when he, uh, kind of like proposes a deal with with Rhaenyra to run away with him and stuff like that was like that was like a moment where I really like saw him kind of like be his own character like he was more than just a knight you know like he was he became a person and it added so much drama and tension between the two I was like on the edge of my seat just listening to the way uh the dialogue and the conversations it was just it was, it was crazy <laughs> now let's talk about the scene that everybody's talking about and it's it's absolutely nuts this this sequence this entire sequence is is fucking crazy and uh, so the director her name is Cl oh shit <laughs> her name is claire kilner and this entire sequence is superbly directed it's directed to perfection all the way through the dialogue the writing um the interactions between all the characters uh, the music by Raman Javadi just it's just building and building and building and you can like you can get get a sense that something bad's about to happen. You just don't know when, you just don't know how, but something bad is about to happen. And it's just you're you're really like on the edge of your seat. Like my my heart was racing during that entire sequence. It was absolutely nuts. Like I was stressing for my life, guys. <laughs> then you have Damon Targaryen showing up late and He's just such a drama queen. Even a great, another great moment, Alison Hightower, when she showed up in that green dress, and then like these dudes, I think their names are strong. They say, "Oh, um, what's the the color of the the banner thing of of the house Hightower?" And they said green, and she's wearing a green dress. That was insane. Like you're like, oh shit! It's just so much tension building between all these characters, and it's absolutely chaotic. <laughs> then we get a scene where Joffrey, the remember the red-headed lover of Lenor Valarian, he's like kind of like looking around, um, trying to see who's the secret lover of Rhaenyra, and then he spots this knight, and it's Kristen Cole, and based. Based on his body language, he was like, yep, that's the guy. He's the one with Rhaenyra. Then he just kind of like comes up to him and says, hey, I know your secret and you know my secret. You know, why don't we just have make a deal, you know, like to keep each other's secret. That conversation clearly doesn't do well with Kristen Cole. He takes it very personally and something happens later. Then you have a moment where Damon joins the dance floor, comes up to Rhaenyra. You know, Rhaenyra has a conversation like, take me to Dragonstone, take me as your wife. And and uh, and then Ra Damon takes her by the neck and he's about to kiss her. But then the view gets blocked and Viserys is like 
furious about what he's about to witness. But right before that happens, uh, a woman starts screaming in the background. And I'm, we're just all there like, what, what the hell is going on? And then hell breaks loose and you're like trying to figure out what the heck is going on. But Claire Kilner, the director, she, this was very well directed. I'm like, I'm thinking about it the next day. I'm like, it's actually kind of cool how we actually don't really know what's going on. It's like we're part of the part of the people at the wedding, basically, because we, you know, unless you're very like close to what was happening, you probably don't know. And I felt, I kind of felt that. I felt like, like a person like uh, on the outside in a way. Then we get a shot of what is happening. Suddenly Kristen is beating someone up and in my mind I thought it was Damon but turns out it's freaking Joffrey, the red-headed lover of Lenor Velaryon. And he's beating the shit out of this guy. That's, oh my god, it's so graphic. But Kristen Cole, he's just smacking the shit out of this guy. This guy is done. He is, and it's so, it's so gross what you see, what, what he did to Joffrey. But yeah, this is, this was literally like another red wedding, basically. Which me like, it's a, it's, a, it's another shocking moment in Game of Thrones history. And that kind of left me wondering with a few questions because like, where the hell did Damon go? He just went missing in action, basically. Did he somehow start this in a way? Like, I don't know. I really want to find out what happens. I, I, I hope this gets resolved in the next episode, but I mean, I don't know. Because I know in the next episode, they're starting with uh, the new actors, the new actresses, Emma Darcy and... And Olivia Cook, that's that's who she is, yes. But yeah, like there's they're gonna have like a huge 10, 10 year time jump or something. But yeah, then the episode ends with Kristen uh walking to the the Godswood tree, I believe that's what yeah. And then he's about to kill himself, suicide, and he's like done with it. And then Allison stops him, and this is I believe the start of a union. They're gonna be allies in the war against Rhaenyra. The Dance of Dragons. That gets me pumped up. I cannot wait for more of this. This is an absolutely amazing episode. Probably one of the best um, Game of Thrones episodes ever. And not only that, obviously the best House of the Dragon episode so far in the season. Just full of tension, drama, all of it. So yeah, that's my review of House of the Dragon episode five. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you, do, you, do you still like Kristen? Do you hate Kristen? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.